Bill Belichick going with Cole Strange out of Chattanooga. Everyone in the NFL had this dude going in the third round, you know, highest, just just basically shocked the world. Cole yeah. Strange. And, like, there's – I appre- if you overdraft somebody and you get it right, then – Kudos to you, I guess, but the the win win there is you trade out of the pick, you get whatever value you get, and then you still get your guy. So I, I just don't understand. Like, I, like if you're the smartest guy in the room, which Bill Belichick certainly could lay claim to, that's cool. But the smartest guy in the room, you also add value on at the same time. Like I, we don't, nobody knows obviously if Cole Strange is going to be good or not. But like that to me is just like straight bizarre, and like you, like you're just you don't understand how a draft works, which seems really weird to me when you're 70 years old, you've been in the NFL forever. Thoughts? I'll stop talking. I, I think that Bill Belichick's going to do what Bill Belichick wants to do, and he's done this since 2000, and it's worked out pretty well. He's had some draft misses, but everybody has draft misses. There's not, not every single draft class is in you know an A1 hit. Belichick's misses have been pretty significant, but they've been significantly bad at the wide receiver position. He hasn't really missed in some of the other areas where he's built this team. And also, he does not care about how drafts traditionally work. This is a guy who doesn't care how football traditionally works. He basically reinvented the way that the game has approached throughout the Patriots dynasty. So we're not going to look at him and go, oh, you need to do it the way that it's always been done. He's going to do it quite literally the Patriot way. He's going to go out and he's going to find the guys that he thinks fits his system, personality and character fits that are going to fit in that locker room, guys who are going to mold into the system, not something that you have to mold the system around. And I think that you know, Cole Strange is one of those guys. It's hilarious to us because he's overdrafting him by a significant margin. But then again, this also looks like, and not the Cole Strange pick, but the Patriots in general, look like they're on the other side of kind of the, the tumultuous post-Brady breakup year where it was nasty. You know, the Patriots dynasty's dead. The empire has fallen. Look at what they did last year with Mac Jones. Bill Belichick, if there is one coach in all of the NFL that I'm going to bet all of my money on, he's going to be able to figure out a way to make something work and to bounce back. It's Bill Belichick. And this Cole Strange pick, this might be something we're looking back at in a couple of years and going, turns out it wasn't that big of a deal because guess who just won the Super Bowl again? Yeah. Bill Belichick. And he did it with Mac Jones and he did it with Cole Strange and he did it with all of these other guys. He does it his own way. And that's why he's won so many Super Bowls and he's the greatest coach of all time. I mean, it's hard to fault it. Easy to laugh at it. Hard to fault it. So I just want to take a run at him, which would be, yeah, do it. <laughs> I mean, do it. hey, listen, I mean, I can, I can look back in time and, and go through the Cleveland years and, and see what that was. And then I can go to present day and see Tom Brady winning Super Bowls in, in Tampa. And, and I could see the Patriots playing uh, a borderline archaic level of football. And it was just, it's, it's great. You got to the playoffs. You went ten and seven. You made Mac Jones a credible quarterback. I do wonder too, if all the QBs had been there, if they were selecting one last year, would he have taken Mac Jones? I'm just, it, it's like you, you don't think so. Because I mean, I, that was the it, argument when everybody was talking about, oh, Mac Jones, rookie of the year, blah blah blah. It's like, look, if Justin Fields was in New England last year. I think we're looking at Justin Fields in an entirely different way. We might be talking about Justin Fields more than we're talking about Mac Jones right now. I'm like, oh, wow, this guy is the successor to Tom Brady. Belichick hit, you know, diamond in the rough with this guy. This is awesome. It's all circumstantial, you know? If Justin Fields had, and you know, if, if Tom Brady had ended up in Arizona and not in New England, entirely different sliding door scenario. So, no, I don't think that he takes Mac Jones number one overall. I think maybe he goes Justin Fields, maybe Trey Lance, but he drafted Mac Jones and he made it work. They went to the playoffs with Mac Jones. And that's the point. It doesn't really matter who Bill Belichick drafts. If Bill Belichick likes a guy and thinks he fits into his system, he's going to make it work. And he did with Mac Jones to the point where we were fawning over him and going, I can't believe, you know, all of these teams passed on Mac Jones in the first round. That's the Bill Belichick effect. And that's why I'm, I, we can laugh at the cool, strange thing. But it's also the proof is in the pudding with this guy. Okay. All right. We, we'll move on from Bill. I, I look forward to this ending in a bad way, uh, which is definitely on the table. <laughs>